Hi, I'm Jacqueline Wolf, and this video is going to be a shit show. So, in the background today, I have a mess because I'm reorganizing my room and getting my closet ready for a whole brand new wardrobe. Um, you're going to hear birds, bells, because my giant parrot is having a blast with her bell back there. You're going to hear my tiny kiwi bird. Um, you also might hear a dog. You'll hear the AC. A dog may be moving around. My dog got bit in the face by a rattlesnake. Yeah, and he's here in the room with me. He's already gotten all his vet treatments and all that stuff. I'm just keeping a, a close eye on him because he is elder, considered elder. So I'm watching him. <sighs> There's a lot going on. But I really wanted to make this video um, because A, uh, the footage is already about a week old. And B, um, you know, I, I don't want to like post a video and then none of that stuff is available anyways. So I wanted to go ahead and I keep staring at the viewfinder instead of the camera. My bad. Um, I wanted to post this just so you guys can still be able to find this stuff. I'm sure some places you'll still be able to find this stuff and maybe some that you won't be able to find at all. If not, some of these items are on Home Goods website. I also have gone to Bath and Body Works and already purchased some stuff from Bath and Body Works Halloween line. I believe they came out on Monday from what my fiance told me. Um, but anyways, this video is just going to be a haul on what me and my fiance got at Home Goods. We also did go to TJ Maxx, I believe it was. You'll see what happens there. Um, maybe you guys might find some things interesting there. Um, we also went to Bath and Body Works. I don't have footage of that, um, but I will show you guys what we did end up purchasing um, because my fiance is actually a huge fan of the Vampire Blood items. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair. Um, and I'll go ahead and move on to the voiceover uh, part of this video and I did get some footage from some of these stores and also I will do um, the haul portion with the voiceover so you can see what I did what we did end up um, purchasing at these stores which we low-key did go on a little shopping spree at home goods because I went at my home goods they stock up on Tuesdays and Fridays I went on a Friday night no Saturday morning I think and we found everything I wanted we did pass up on one thing that I ended up I still regret it and I will eventually purchase this item just because I'm willing to buy it somewhere else even if it's like a few more dollars to ship just because I fell in love with this item and I'm redoing my room right now um so that item would have been perfect for what I'm planning on doing. There's like a bunch of stuff here because I redid my fireplace. I'll show the fireplace at the end of the video just so you can see um, what I ended up doing with that decor that I ended up buying from Home Goods. I'm so excited. I also have some things up there that are from Bath and Body Works, but I'm sure you'll be able to spot it out after um, you see what we ended up purchasing. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video and happy Halloween hunting. Okay, and starting off, I am going to say some of these clips are slowed down a little bit just because I was moving pretty quickly. Um, uh, see the spooky tree over here? Yeah, I had that in my cart for like the longest time and I didn't end up getting it just because I don't have enough room. Same with the broom parking. I really love that broom parking and honestly, I really want to pick it up, but I just don't have the room. Um, and then over here, uh, they have these spooky little witch fairy dolls. I don't like them, but... I can just picture them being in like a little Bihita's house. I don't know why, but um, Home Goods went for a lot of these vintagey looking um, decor, like 90s style, and I love it. Um, I loved this little pumpkin, like I guess planter it was so cute, and I wish I would have picked it up. I didn't. Um, even the little ghost is so cute. Um, Home Goods always does like this pink, like spooky pink girl um, vibe, and I like it. It's definitely really cute. I'm surprised a lot of that stuff was still there. Um, and then again, more of like the old style um, type decor. I love those storage books. They come in handy for like, you know, like remote controls or whatever on your um, on your uh, coffee table. Ooh, that little skeleton hand. I almost got it holding the snake, but the snake was gold and I don't like gold. Um, they have some Edgar Allan Poe type vibes on the books and stuff. Um, I really liked this, but I felt like the chain was a little too long. I don't know. I'm sure you can customize it, but still, I wasn't a huge fan. Um, this shelf was just 
so pretty in orange and I fell in love with a lot of things on this shelf. Um, I really liked this spider in the pumpkin right here, that vintage -y vibe. It is so cute. I don't know what it was to be honest with you though. Um, and then these plates right here with the ghosts and the skeletons, I loved it. If they would have had a full set, I honestly would have picked them up. They're so cute. Uh, and again, some cereal bowls, some a lot of coffee mugs. If you're into collecting coffee mugs or spooky coffee mugs, they definitely had a lot. And I don't know if you can see those plates right there. I really liked the square ones, um, but they were kind of taupe. And honestly, they just didn't really fit my style. Um, I almost got these plates but then I saw that they had the witch ones and I picked up a full set of the witch ones. Um, again, some of these vintage, uh, I think that's a salt and pepper shaker. They also have like this herb crusher. They had a bunch of those at my home goods. Um, and they always have just a perfect array of dish towels. I definitely need to pick up some dish towels, but I didn't really see any that I fell in love with. And the only one that I did like is not even in camera focus and I'm kind of like upset about it. <laughs> um, but they always have good blankets. I ended up getting that pillow up there on the left. Um, but the blankets, I got a few of them and they're just seriously so soft and big. They're like good sizes, most of them. They had the pink ones and then like the traditional Halloween ones, then some gothic feel ones. The ones with the puppies. I loved this one right here. It is so cute. I kind of wish I would have picked it up. I also really liked this one too. And it matched the pillow I ended up getting. But um, they always have the cutest blankets. And of course their pillows are always adorable as well. Moving on to TJ Maxx, it kind of was a bust for me. I didn't really see anything that I liked per se. Um, there was definitely a couple things. These stacked pumpkins were everything. Um, also, if we can just appreciate how long it took Manny to check the price on this. Um, <laughs> we both really liked this piece, um, but we were looking for the price tag and we're like, how much is this thing anyways? He picked up this heavy ass pumpkin only to find out that the price tag was on the top which I think it was like $50 if you're curious um then we both kind of fell in love with this little pumpkin dog because it looks like my moose dog um and they just had a lot of like small things but really nothing special in my opinion moving on to the haul portion I did end up picking up this Mickey Mouse cookie jar it literally was the only one at my home goods and I it didn't even sit on the shelf for more than 10 seconds before I swooped it up and I believe it was about $30. The price tag wasn't on it. Um, I also got this candle, which it is seriously amazing. Like honestly on the level of Bath and Body Works candles, it smells so good for only $10. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Um, after that I did get this cute little, it's technically a candle. Honestly, it doesn't smell like anything in particular. I don't think anybody's really going to be burning this. It's definitely really cute. And um, I have dogs myself, so I kind of had to pick it up. It really was just so cute. Um, this next item, I honestly almost didn't pick this up, but my fiance told me this would be perfect for my tattoo supplies, like to put my little ink um, cups in. And I actually did pick it up. I thought it was a really good price for six dollars um because it's really heavy duty and it's a nice heavy glass and has a nice lid this is probably one of my favorite pieces i picked up oh my god it is so cute um it's hollow on the top so i use it to hold my remote controls and stuff like that but it literally seriously gives me such vintage feels it um, it even looks dirty it's definitely not dirty um but i just love that old school vintage vibe it gives this next piece, if you know me, you know I actually collect snow globes. You might even see a couple in the background of this video. I really loved the look and feel of this snow globe. Um, it the I should have recorded the song it was playing, but it kind of sounds like the Haunted Mansion theme song a little bit. I'm also sorry my parrots are going crazy in the background. But anyways, um, this next piece I honestly shouldn't have gotten, but it was just so dang cute. And um, it didn't have a price tag on it, so if you know the price of it, comment down below. Um, this next piece I really love. It's kind of vintage-y, but it, I don't know, the texture, everything about it, both me and my fiance really fell for it. And I love the profile of it. It almost just looks like the back of it's like dragging like a real like 
like it has movement to it in a way I don't know it just looks like someone's actually dragging it along and it's just the freaking cutest thing ever um and I didn't think it was too bad of a price even if it was a little bit more expensive I think I'd pick it up because it's so cute this next piece is very simple just honestly it lights up it's real cute like I don't know what else to say about it other than it's adorable I also low-key like how its eyes are not even and my fiance even brought that up too and it's really cute this pillow um definitely something I normally wouldn't pick up normally just because I'm not really into the Ouija board type things um but this is only uh like planchetta that doesn't have like an upside down cross or like a star on it and I usually don't buy stuff like that just because that's not really my um style uh this chip and dip bowl I thought would be really cute for like entertaining in the future um definitely like I don't know some chips and guac in the middle that would be kind of cute uh I am obsessed with stitch so I the second I saw these spooky little stitch um chip clips I had to pick them up I just thought they were so cute his little face oh my god he's so cute and I love the ones with him and like little bat wings <laughs> that's so cute uh sorry my camera kept going in and out of focus um and both of these packs were about $4.99 I saw these little um ghost uh little bowls there's four of them in one pack I thought they would be really cute for like yogurt parfaits and stuff like that these plates are seriously so gorgeous and I almost missed them when walking through home goods. I saw them at the last minute and had to get two sets. This thing speaks to my heart. It's so cute and creepy all at the same time. It's buggy eyes. Like, I don't know what it is about this thing. It low key creeps me out in the middle of the night when I'm trying to sleep and it's just sitting in the corner, but I love it. This. I've almost bought this exact wreath at, um, what is it? Spirit Halloween, like four years in a row. But the difference between the one at Spirit Halloween and this one here at Home Goods is the price. Uh, the one at Spirit Halloween is $30. This one's only $20. Um, this blanket is so cute. It's kind of traditional Halloween style. But this blanket is so soft. Also, you're going to see how bad of a recorder I am. Because I apparently don't know how to record blankets. Just watch this next clip. Like, this one was already used and washed. I got it at Home Goods um, like a week before. But I had already used it. So that's why it's not packaged all cute. And I'm trying to record it. And it just looks bad. But I'm trying my best. But honestly, all the blankets from Home Goods are so nice and soft. And I've heard blankets like this, you're actually not supposed to use fabric in the softener. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't I'm not really sure. Um, the next stuff is gonna be like home like like kitchenware, and um this bowl is so gorgeous. The orange, the bats, the spiderweb, the price. I didn't think the price was bad. These are a little small. Um, I'm sure you can eat yogurt out of it or maybe even some cereal. These plates, you have no idea how bad I wanted to find these plates. And when I saw that they had all eight, I needed to pick them up right away. Um, this bowl is really cute. Sorry, um, like for the background change, so these were downstairs already in my storage because I had picked them up a week prior. Um, this bowl is just a cute little mixing bowl and I loved the pattern on the outside. These cups, like, I'm sorry, I think everybody has just, like, cute little plastic cups, like, to drink juice or, like, soda in just randomly. So, I kind of want to keep my cups spooky, so I picked up these cute little cups. Of course, I have to have a cute little, like, cookie, you know, set to bake my spooky cookies in. And this bowl with the snake on the side, it's so subtle, but I love the detail in the snake on the side, like... You can't really see it on the camera. Apparently, I don't know how to record my bed. Um, but it looks so pretty. I really love this bowl. It's just such a pretty hidden detail. Of course, um, I mean, I think everybody needs like eight or nine of these <laughs> for no fucking reason. But I had to get these. These are so cute. I love spiders and like the way they look. I ended up buying two of these containers. One of them is at my fiance's house. Um, and now we use it for our lunch. Um, we were supposed to save it for our house, but honestly, we both take our leftovers 
to work in these just because they're so freaking cute and definitely fits our aesthetic so we have to take it to work this next segment is going to be or not segment honestly i only got one item from here uh is at michael's this huge um <sighs> cauldron i actually put one of my plants in it and it looks adorable we ended up going to joanne's uh craft store and found this mirror guys this mirror if you have the opportunity to pick it up pick it up like i really thought it was going to be one of those flimsy plasticky like gitchy type mirrors but it's actually really well made um it's a little foggy but still really pretty and here's the items that i got from bath and body works this was a little hard to film just because of the reflectiveness um i was able to get a good shot this is seriously so beautiful i was under the impression there was a female and male version but it's actually double-sided so if one day you're feeling the female vibe and one day you're feeling the male vibe you can just flip it back and forth and it's so pretty and reasonably priced it's pretty well made i actually wasn't crazy about the bath and body works release this year however this is something I really wanted the second I saw it the detail on it is so cool my only complaint I wish the nails were black I actually might put acrylics on it myself I'm not even getting and paint them black and give her like more like kind of like witchy like real witch claws I think it would really look cool I also went ahead and got this candle I didn't put the price mostly because you know Bath and Body Works has sales and you might be able to get it cheaper than what I did even though I got it for a pretty good deal. This is definitely one of my favorite items especially because tell me the horse doesn't look like the tattoo I just got like it's seriously so beautiful and I love it. And this is how I actually decorated my little gaming slash fireplace slash entertainment center. Um, you can definitely see the items that I did get. Um, I kind of had my, well, not kind of, I definitely had my fireplace like this before. Um, but you could see some, just the newer items kind of dressed it up a little bit more than I already had. Um, some of these items are from Bath and Body Works, um, like a few years ago or even just random places that I was able to find some spooky cute stuff. I also love the way the globe came out on this video. Look at that transition. It looks so freaking cool but I am really obsessed on how my setup came out um my fireplace at the moment isn't working and I feel like that would have just made this setup but it's okay okay so that is everything I got at home goods and um I believe bath and body works if there was anything else sprinkled into that I'm sure I'll say it over the voiceover um as of right now I don't know what else is added into that um it looked like crap but honestly, it's so freaking hot and I'm one of those people when it's hot, I don't want to put makeup on. I don't want to do my hair. I don't want to go out. I don't want to go anywhere. If you invite me somewhere, I'm most likely going to say no unless it is somewhere that has an AC. But anyways, um, I'm a fall girl all through and through winter. That's it. So, um, yeah, that's everything I got. Um, I did change my hair. I forgot to record it. If you're curious on what it usually looks like when it's not fading, because I think I'm going to fade it and change it already, um, I'll flash a photo of what it usually looks like, um, you know, when it's not faded, when it's like freshly dyed or something. Uh, I am planning on changing it again shortly, um, but if I do do that, I might do a video. I'm going to say might because this isn't my job, you know what I mean? Like, I just do this for fun and just kind of like, I don't know like random life updates I guess I don't even know why I do this real too um also my tattoo journey finally came to an end not I'm not done getting tattooed but um my cover-up if you're were following those on my shorts um I'm gonna post that soon I'm I need to um, do the voiceover and wait for my second skin to come off um if you know what I'm talking about it's like those second skins um like the sticker thing you know what I mean like the thing that goes off over your tattoos um i gotta wait for that to come off so i can take like a nice photo um unless i have a nice photo before i think i do so you know i'll post it eventually um also another thing um i am trying to transform my closet just because i kept getting in this weird loop of buying clothes i didn't like trying to try out different styles and i learned really soon into that journey i humbled myself because i realized i don't like any of the clothes i have 
So I basically got rid of I, behind here somewhere there. Oh no, it's on the other side. Um, I have a box full of clothes that I'm getting rid of. Like, I don't like any of those clothes. I bought those clothes and I don't like them. So I got humbled. I came back to my roots. I ordered a bunch of different clothes from a bunch of different places a few weeks ago. Uh, so I might do an unboxing of um, Midnight Hour and maybe um, Not Your Average, what is it? Not Your Average Babe, which low-key, um, so far not satisfied with them at all because they're freaking customer service sucks. And so does their shipping. It's been like a month and they haven't sent it. But anyways, um, I'll probably do an unboxing of that, show you what their clothes look like and all that stuff just to make another video. Um, especially because I'm excited to get my clothes back. You know what I mean? Because I went so long wearing clothes that I just did not enjoy, that didn't look good on me, that I didn't feel good in, that I felt almost like I was wearing a mask in these clothes, just trying to like wear the average. Um, I don't like any of those clothes, <laughs> so I went ahead and ordered clothes that I like and I know I feel comfortable in. Um, obviously there's a few pieces in there that I threw in that I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna, like, look in this. Yeah, right? My bird's going crazy. Both my birds are going crazy. All three of them are going crazy. Um, but anyways, do you think I'm talking to you? You can come to- you wanna come with me? Here, hold on. Okay, so he wanted to join the video. Um, anyways, yeah, kiwi. Oh my god, now they're all jealous. But anyways, um, I wanted to go ahead and do that little um, video. He's eating my hair. Why are you doing this to me? Anyways, I just wanted to do that little video just to show you what's out there. I might do more. Yeah, I might do more. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah? Um, I wanted to do that little video just to show you what's out there. Um, I might order some more in the future. Maybe. Because... Um, that bills are expensive and he did just get bit in the face by a rattlesnake i'm pointing to the dog that you can't see on camera i'll flash a picture of him i'll flash a video sorry this is a mess i'll flash a picture of my dog just so you know how cute he is this one's trying to eat my neck I hope some of this footage is usable. But anyways, so that is my video. I just wanted to show you guys what's out there just because um, I know there's a lot of people that um, like um, using Halloween decor as their everyday decor, such as myself, especially people in my area. I swear, like, there's not a lot of alternative people at all. I don't see alternative people. I don't see goth people. I don't see emo people. Like, I don't see that. Or what the, what the new one is called, like, e-people or e-girls or whatever. I don't see that anywhere but somehow all the halloween shit gets sold out like immediately and it drives me insane but um i did want to go ahead and show you guys what's out there at least in my area i do low-key want it i did want it at one point to go travel outside of my area but i figured if it's this bad in my area in california and i don't even live in that populated of an area i'm sure like the more populated areas like valencia and la i'm sure those places are probably sold out of everything um, especially some of the pieces this year at Home Goods are so freaking good. Uh, I really am enjoying all the pieces I got and I'm excited to use everything even though I already used everything um, in some areas of my house because I did actually buy, I'm sure as you saw, a lot of house decor for when I move out with my husband to be um, because he also loves this aesthetic as well which is perfect because I don't think I've ever dated anybody with the same aesthetic as me so this has been fun shopping with him and you know getting the things that we both like instead of just one um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i do hope to make that um midnight hour video soon um sorry i keep looking at the viewfinder and not the camera i'm not good at this this isn't my job maybe if this ever became my job which i highly doubt it ever will because um i'm not like a camera person as you can tell like i filmed this on my ipad you know what I mean? I filmed this on my phone, some pieces. Even my fiance in some of those uh, clips filmed those for me. So um, yeah, it's not like an everyday job, it's just for fun. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. If you are interested in more makeup, like maybe like gothic home decor or um, gothic clothing, I do hope to film some of those videos in the future. Um, if I don't, 
I, I, I'm sorry. I just follow my Instagram, which will be linked down below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Kiwi says bye. <laughs>